brand new episode of our epic modded series, Stoneblock. I love how much you guys are enjoying the series, and a lot happened last night. I said I was going to AFK this mob farm to see if it was actually working. Now, while I was doing that, I also made some brand new pretty torches. They're stone mineral torches. They're made from the ben mineral berries from that mineral tree we put into our bonsai pots. Now, we had a bit of an issue. Um... Um, so I made my thumbnail here last night. As you can see, there's now grass here. And, um, I took this torch away. Let's see, if you click F7, now I did not know this, you can see that there's three spots here that are not lit. I didn't know that. And I walked away. And I walked into here. And I started doing some stuff. Now we'll talk about the animals in a second. But I started doing some stuff over here, and I AFK'd right here. And a creeper decided to spawn and ruin my life and destroy my bonsai pots and my, this box was destroyed and some of the blocks the redstone clock was gone so we went into our supplies and realized we had no iron left um barely any redstone but we managed to remake everything we lost which is really good um and and we unfortunately ran out of iron so i made sure to get some more sifting of gravel last night just to collect more iron for us and while i did that i actually got a few more diamonds which is pretty cool. So now we have nine diamonds, which are definitely going to come in handy today. But, unfortunately, the creeper stole my uh, player head. And the only way to get that is to die. So I guess um, we're going to be dying at some point. But I did add a little bit of detail into the rooms. And I expanded this room out um, just a little bit so I can make a decent farm with this, this, this thing. Look at this thing. This thing is crazy good. So we pick it up. Growth Crystal Tier 3. It acts as a water source. It works for a 9x9 farm, so any water source lets you grow crops four blocks away from that water source. So, same idea, but it also checks up to 10 blocks up or down, which is pretty freaking cool. I'm going to try to let not let my, my, my tilled soil be untilled, but it, it'll work out. I don't know where we're going to put there yet, but at least it's ready to go. And, I, you know, I started doing a little bit of detail work in the base, kind of digging stuff out. Now, these supporter beams are put in for now so we can stop dying to Enderman. Um, fighting Enderman, I just have to keep putting cobblestone up, and it, it just took too long. But we have animals! And I love these torches. They're so pretty and way better than our normal torch. Like, they're so much prettier. Look at these things. Uh, we did cook some apples. Because we're running out again. Uh, vein mining or ore excavation eats up a lot of your hunger bars. So, yep, food is necessary. But look at all this. Our first animal was indeed Mr. Rabbit. And he looks like he's from Alice in Wonderland. He had a, tra a, a tuxedo on before, but now he just has a hat. I think his outfit changed. He just has a little hat and some googly eyes. Super cute. But we also got this guy, Lingering Potion Fluid Cow. No idea what that means. Like, lingering potion is like lingering potion effects. When you drink a potion, you keep the effect for a while. But I don't know what that means. So we'll have to investigate him later. But the god of all cows, Molten Invar. <laughs> so excited to get this guy. So if we grab our bucket, we should be able to literally get Molten Invar in a bucket. Now, it'll stay in my bucket for now because I don't think I have a way of getting it out of the bucket. Um, did I use my bucket for something? It happens on occasion that I use my bucket um, and don't replace it. Hello? Oh, that's fine. We have iron. I'm just going to grab that and make a bucket. See how this works. Now, I know there's a system in the smeltery where we can deal with this, but I don't know if we want to build it right now. Boop. We literally have molten in fire in a bucket. One bucket worth. I, want, I wonder how much one buck. Can I... I can't pour it into the smelter. I know there's a system you can make, which I'm definitely going to make next episode or in between episodes and then just show it to you guys because we have plans for today. Now, that's enough talking, enough explaining what happened last night. It was very sad, but we have a few things I want to get done. Now, I definitely want to keep progressing. So we need this diamond mesh now that we have enough diamonds to make it, and then we can make an auto sieve system, which I think would be really cool. We still don't have enough diamonds to make a cobblestone generator tier three, but if we get the auto sieve going with gravel we have ch that's like our only chance of getting more diamonds right now which is really cool and i think it'd be pretty easy to make end stone we can just look it up i mean it can't be that difficult and we should be able to complete this mob farm task so 12 rotten flesh six bones and two ender pearls we definitely have that now i kind of expanded this area a little bit um this chest was filling up way too quickly 
Oh, that's scary. And it's, it's just going a little bit nutty. So I've just kind of been organizing. I need to create a compact system. This is why I've searched drawers. I need to create the system to make it so that I'm actually gaining resources. Because if I AFK long enough, this chest just fills up and it's over. Now, <laughs> you wonder what these chests are for, guys. Loop eggs. Many, many, many loop eggs. These ones are empty right now, but... We're going to work tomorrow on creating a system for this whole area, but I want to get our diamond mesh going because then we can get more diamonds from our auto sieve while everything else is being worked on on the base. So let's grab our diamonds. I'm so sad to see these things go. And string, which we have in our little string web, what's it called? Spider web sapling. Okay. So all we need is one diamond mesh because we're not going to be actually sifting through this. Don't make a diamond gear by accident. Diamond stiffen mesh. It's a complete challenge. Now, I'm going to place it here for now because technically we can use it. And we can still pick it up. But in the future, we're going to have this full. So if we ever want to sift things quickly, we can. But let's make the auto sieve because that's what I'm super excited for. So we'll pick this up. Claim and auto sieve. Oh, da -da -da -da. What do we get? Speed 2. Kind of useful, but don't really need it. Right now, we got a decent amount of potions saved up, which is pretty cool. So, auto sieve. I know we need iron, so let's just let's just grab a stack of iron. Let's look up the auto sieve. This thing is going to be so much fun. I love doing these. This is, like, probably my favorite part about modded. I don't know why. It's, like, making automatic machines that do work for you. It's really fun. <laughs> so, we need a sieve. We need four glass panes, two iron blocks, and two iron ingots. So, we'll make our two iron blocks. And we need a sieve, which we should still have enough wood left to do this. And sticks are pretty easy to come by. Three of these, four, all four drawers have sticks in them being saved up for us. And we'll just quickly make the sieve like that. And auto sieve. We need four glass panes. Do we have enough? We only have two glass. Uh, wait, is there sand in here? No, there's gravel though. I can break down gravel pretty easily. Uh, let's just... Compact, doop, doop, compressed, and we'll just easily get some sand to cook because we just don't have any. We just don't have any, which is okay. Here we go. Boop, boop. This should give us sand. Um, hello, hammer. There we go. And we'll just throw this into our furnace. We've been cooking up a lot of stone because we seem to always be missing stone. So I figured it was about time we did so. Now, glass panes, I believe, is six glass blocks. So we just need six of these little guys, and we'll be able to create this. Now, we need a place to put it. Um, I also changed something last night. Now, this was creating obsidian. Decent amount. I mean, we have a stack and a half, and I don't see us really needing much more than that. But the problem is this, this quantum tank was not filling up with lava because it was creating just enough lava and just enough to fill this drawer that we weren't getting excess lava, which was the, realistically the plan. So all I did was take away this transfer node to pull the obsidian out. So the obsidian will now just sit in there. It has no way to come out unless I right click it and pop it out manually. And our tank can finally fill up, which is not bad. It's at 276,000 millibuckets of lava. So that's not bad at all. But we need a place for automation. Hmm. Do we want to go off the farm? Not, I don't know where I want to put it. Hmm. I didn't think this through. I don't think I thought my base through very well. I mean, we could put it on the other side of the animals, but I think I want to expand this little plot so we get a lot more animals because they seem to have stopped spawning at three. And that's just really not, not exactly what I was looking for. Um, I definitely want more space for more animals. I think for now we're going to go this way. I think, I think that's okay. It looks beautiful. Okay, so let's go make all of our necessary ingredients and machines that we need to get this done. We're going to need more transfer nodes as well. Now, I think I left them in here. I don't know if that's going to be enough. We only need one liquid transfer node, but we need... Well, right now we only need one of these as well. Okay, we'll grab redstone because we're probably going to need it. And we already have iron. I think that's it. I think that's it. We have our glass. Okay, let's make our auto sieve for now. 16 glass panes and at least it makes 16. So we can still make two more auto sieves in the future. There's our auto sieve. Let's claim that right away. 
Let's see what we get. Boop, boop. Might be helpful. You never know. You never know. We might get another Envar Hammer. Three, two, one. Ooh, Black Lotus. What's that from? Batania? We're gonna have to get into Batania. That's gonna be really cool. Uh, we already had 16, so we have a little bit more. Oh, also my apple tree broke. So I actually have to make a new apple tree. Um, and then I just saw... Where was it? Right here. There's a freaking apple tree. <sighs> I did have to make one, but that's okay. Now, I think... This system needs to kind of stay. I think I need to make another Eulorian block. So that I can get lava situation going. Oh, we have enough. Just. We're gonna have to sift for more Eulorium later. But we do have enough for now. Let's just, just, just put that in there like that. There we go. Let's put all this stuff away. Dirt, sand, dust. Perfect. And gravel goes in there. Oh, there's so much stuff in our inventory right now. I don't think we're going to need glass panes anymore. We have an auto sieve. Just wait on your lorium. We need bone meal and what was it? Clay to make our crucible. We only need seven bone meal. Seven. Uh, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we'll need clay. That's fine. That's pretty easy. I always keep leftover dust somewhere. Um, just so that we always are, you know, always capable of making clay. Here we go. Um, that should be enough. Boop, boop, boop. That gave me nine. Perfect. Let's put these with our seven bone meal. I'll make our porcelain clay again. And then... Um, shoop, like this. And throw it into the furnace. Got our Eulorium. Perfect. Make a block. Boop. It's really weird. I never understood this. Eulorium ingots from extreme reactors turns into uranium ingots from immersive engineering. Ah. Uh, okay. I don't really understand, but okay. Ooh. I got a boop. I don't know where from, though. Anyway. Okay, let's go into our area that we need to work. Now, I think we're just going to start it on the wall. Like, right here is fine. This is a good enough spot than any. Get our system set up the way we always do because we need lava. We're going to need a generator. We need RF power. Hmm. Huh. Okay, okay. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. We're thinking, we're thinking. Let's just get this going now. We need a cobblestone generator. We need... We need to look at generators. Other generators. Ones that create RF power. Generator. There are so many. There are so many. Survival generator. Furnace. Culinary. Magmatic. I think that's the lava one. We're probably going to use that. Heated redstone. Ender generator. Potion. Pink generator. That's cute. It's got a big heart on it. I just want it to put on the base. Overclock generator explosive generator nether star halitosis frosty death disenchantment slimy and rainbow generator look at the name tag on that oh, i want the rainbow generator look at that it's two pieces the bottom one oh you use all the generators to make the other generator well that's cool okay so i think because we have um a good use of lava right now we should make the magmatic generator but in the future, if we ever end up with, let's say, a lot of redstone or pink stuff or ender pearls, we could make an ender generator. So I think all these generators are powered by different items. Like there's the culinary generator that's powered by food. So I think we're going to go for this guy. We need five gold, five iron, four redstone, six redstone, and more iron. Okay, let's start this. Let's start this. We have chests somewhere i knew i did and we still have our old furnace that we had before we're gonna put it to good use we don't didn't have to destroy that we can just you know save it and we'll have its use for later we'll grab our wrench and that now if i could just drop off a lot of these blocks um it's kind of getting ridiculous in my inventory and we need to cook gold so um how much gold do we want to cook i mean we might as well cook more than we need right the system's just gonna go for itself anyway we'll let that cook we ha oh we have enough gold um i need five i don't i don't know why this never works for me i just need five okay let's see if we can do this magmatic generator we need a bucket of lava our bucket is filled with molten invar right now 
Um, that's gonna be problematic. So we also need a bucket. Okay, let's, 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 we got this, we got this. We need a bucket. Thank you. I just didn't feel like doing it by hand. Um, let's go fill it. Boop, boop, boop. We have our handy dandy tank. Now we could bring our tank into this room as well to get the whole system powered and just get it ahead so that it's not trying to keep up all the time. Um, I will show you guys that in a second. Uh, here we go. Magmatic furnace, furnace generator, machine block. Oh, it makes four. Okay, well that's useful. We can make four generators in the long run. A machine block, redstone, and the furnace equals the furnace generator, which I think we needed to make here. That's one of them. That one uses coal, I believe, or anything that you can cook with. So like charcoal, coal, probably even wood, honestly. Um, but that is not the one we want to make today. We want to make this. So we'll take that and turn it into that. Oh, it didn't take our bucket. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. That is a lot of power generation. We got two. I don't know how our inventory is doing. Hopefully it can hold these. Um, let's open them. I'm just going to stand over here at this chest because we know we're probably getting seven chance cubes. No. No. Ooh, silk touch chance pendant. Use this pendant to retrieve chance cubes. You can retrieve chance cubes? Player must hold this in hand to get the cube. Okay. We have a lot of chance cubes, though. We have 14 chance cubes. And we have one of the icosahedron chance cubes as well. Holy jeez, we're gonna have to set these all off one day. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, we got what we were looking for. We still need our cobblestone generator though, guys. I'm, I'm failing to get that. Uh, water and water. I need a, another bucket. I've made so many buckets. I feel like I've made a hundred buckets, but I probably haven't. I really probably haven't. Grab our lava. So water, lava, we need cobblestone, and we need glass, which we do not have. So this is a lot of just building items that we need to make the system work, but in short time, we'll be able to get this system going. So I'm also going to upgrade it, because if we can get as much power as possible out of it right now, that would be really awesome. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Now... Actually, we're gonna start on this side. Boop, boop. This here, I don't have a drawer. I don't have a drawer, guys. <gasps> I don't have a drawer. No, don't jump on it. Ah. Oh, there's two endermen here now. Look down, look down, look down. Um, I think I have extra drawers sitting around somewhere. I saw one earlier. I swore I saw a drawer somewhere. Is it in here? Maybe not. That's fine, we can make one. Uh, what drawer do we want? We want just the simple one. So it's one chest and Wow, I didn't mean I didn't mean to take that much. Okay, that's enough. I just need a few pieces. Boop. That's so weird. The chest is not a valid block. When it's like one of the most basic blocks in Minecraft. It's kinda weird. Oopsie. Okay, there's our drawer. I think we're ready. I think we are ready. Boop ba doop ba doop. Drawer. Cobble? Yes. Perfect. Then, do, do, do. Where's our pipes? So all we need is cobble to go into the crucible. Now we've done this a few times. This is a really easy, simple system. But we're going to need to pipe this to somewhere else. Oh, no. I want to pipe the lava. Uh, transfer node. Lava out. Two this guy and if we right click on him once we place him this will fill up with lava he's pretty slow I mean 6.25 seconds to transfer pretty decent amount we're slowly getting our F power this will sit at a hundred K which is crazy look at it filling up with lava it's not even losing lava it's simply just it's gonna max out on lava and then it's just about how fast we can make this turn lava into power there is an upgrade slot speed upgrades we'll try to look into that later because i don't think we have enough grid power we have zero grid power right now it says it under under our little inventory box so this will fill up with power boop, 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 boop. because of course if we look at our auto sieve which is somewhere in our very messy inventory it needs power zero 
it's fe per tick this creates rf per tick just ignore the letters it's all the same it's all power there's probably like very specific things that make them different but honestly they're just power uh we have goal we have that so next up is we need gravel we need a way to make gravel now thankfully there is other auto machines there is an auto hammer there's the auto sieve which we've seen and there's also the auto compressor which is kind of useful. We might make some of those later because I believe those will compress cobble into compressed cobblestone, which would make life a little bit easier. But I think there's a quicker way even more than just making a machine for it. But I would like the auto hammer because I would like to automatically have cobble being turned into gravel and then that gravel can be shot through the sift and uh, we will hopefully get diamonds. So diamonds and sticks. Um, we have everything for this. We should. Now, there is an auto-compressed hammer and an auto-heavy sieve. I just don't deal with them. I, I've just never dealt with them. I always make the normal ones. Uh, maybe maybe in this series, we'll actually go ahead and push to get that auto-compressed hammer one day. One day. We'll, we'll push for it. Here we go. We need... Actually, we need two of those. Shoop. Shoop. And auto-hammer. Nice. There's no achievement for this guy. Um, when I looked up auto for the sieve, I can see that there's an auto hammer and I can, I know what a hammer does. So this really can't be that complicated. Now, where do I want to put it all? I think the auto hammer could go like that. <gasps> there's a light problem in here. <gasps> oh no. Where's my stone? I can't be having this because I'll walk away and I'll forget that we have a light issue. So we need a way to get this beautifully maxed out. RF power out of this machine and into both of these machines. So we need to make conduits of some sort. Now there's some really high nifty ones that are really good. Um, I might make them actually. Um, conduit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have something in here. Where are they? We got a reward. Cryo stabilized flux ducts transfers redstone flux. The transfer is infinite and has no residual capacitance and transfer amount is per connection. I only have eight of these. Let's see if this works. It's from thermal dynamics and I don't think this is thermal. This is X compression, but this is extra utilities too. So who really knows? The thing looks so cool. Oh, it's got power. Look at that. Can I? break it without it breaking oh i can get it back so let's just put it down here oh my god that freaking conduit is so cool it's so nice it's so much nicer than these little peasy things look at that oh my god both our things are full okay let's go get our diamond mesh Boop. i'm just gonna use that block oh i was gonna say i'm just gonna use that block as my one parkour block but apparently not um we need our diamond mesh i think there's a way to oops not like that i think you can just pop it out if you have an empty hand, shift, shift, right click. You can. Woo. Okay. So this auto sieve cannot function without a mesh. Period. It needs a mesh. See, no mesh. Nothing can happen. It's got a mesh. It's good. Hammer, on the other hand, the auto hammer, you can put diamond hammers in these two slots to speed it up, but the machine will still work without it, which is kind of neat. So I want to connect cobble into the hammer, into the auto hammer, and we will take this wrench and fix these little nifty nods we don't like that we don't want that this should fill and stay filled this should always max out and now we have the auto hammer making gravel which is really awesome but we can take it one step further let's pump it with the auto so the one thing i do know about these transfer nodes it only transfers one block at a time um unless you upgrade it but it really it only tra it's one block there's nothing you can do about it um, that's why you go into different types of item ducts and conduits that are available in different mods so that, uh, you can actually speed this pro progress up quite a bit. But right now we're only need our little guy down here to sift one piece at a time. So it really doesn't matter. So we'll use one and he has gravel now. Look at him. I want to see him up close. Look at the little guy. He's sifted the gravel so cute but this will fill up slowly but surely um we want to pump it out of the system i think i might have to make one more transfer node and then a chest and all of this stuff Whew. i need to fix this 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 
This is not going to work. Having a farm in between these areas is just not going to work. I swore we had two Endermen. I guess one left. They might also teleport into the mob farm, which would just be hysterical, because then no matter what, they die there, which is really funny to me. <laughs> uh, Endermen just need to leave my base alone. What is it we came over here for? We need more transfer notes. Um, we might be able to make some. Uh, my all my caps lock is on. Transfer node items. Perfect. Let's run back. Um, we are gonna pump this into a normal chest for now, like so, with a pipe. And we don't own a chest, but that's fine. We never own a chest. We've just accepted it like that, and then we'll have a chest in the floor for now. Whoop, boop, boop, boop. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, what kind of... I really gotta stop doing that. Uh, what kind of chest do we want? I think we'll just go for, like, a normal chest. I think that's fine for now. It's enough room for now until we make this into its own compact and drawer system, which I think we're gonna be doing in tomorrow's episode, but everything should transfer from here into here. And if we check... Now, I think I can just look up mesh... I'm going to check diamond mesh. Sifting. It's going to show me the he heavy sieve. I don't really want to see the heavy sieve. I want to see the normal sieve. So look at the normal sieve. Sieve. Sifting. Okay, there's diamond. Diamond with <clears throat> netherrack gives us cobalt ore and ardite ore. Those are really strong ores. Uh, diamond with soul sand gives quartz and gas tears. Oh, that's a good way to get gas tears. Um, diamond mesh with sand will give us our Eulorium. So the same odds, but it's the same ingredients as before, but with diamond stiffened mesh, you get better odds. So we have a 12% chance with Eulorium, where on iron stiffened mesh, you only have an 8% chance. So you, you get better odds as you make better meshes. What else do we have in diamond? Dust on diamond will give us decent amount of redstone. Probably not the best way to, might not be the best way to get redstone. It probably is, but... And Crushed Endstone gives you a Shulker Pearl and Draconium Dust. <clears throat> okay. And, of course, with the Gravel, we have a chance to get diamonds. We just got one. We have four diamonds. Look at us go. We're rich. We're making diamonds, guys. <clears throat> Freaking epic. So, all in all, not too shabby. We made a bit of an automatic system. I'm um, not sure I'm liking it over the way, all the way over here. We got to make use of these cryostabilized flux ducts, which are pretty intense. They look really cool. Um, you know, they, they are what they are. We're not get, gaining RF power, though. <clears throat> so we're going to have to get a way to make speed upgrades actually function. So we're going to have to work on grid power and work on compacting drawer systems to organize the loot that's coming out of these machines. But I think we're going to do that next episode. Now, I do see something on my map. There's a red dot over here. Where are you doing over here? So he's stuck. <laughs> You're stuck over there now. I don't have to be scared of you anymore, Enderman. The sound, though. That lasts forever. My goodness. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. It might not have been as long of an episode, and we spent quite a bit of time making our ingredients for today, but it was all possible. Um, there's other ways of transferring your RF power. Look up energy. It's super easy. I might make them for next episode anyway, but thankfully we had these awesome uh, ducts that could transfer our energy for us, which is really cool. So thank you so much, guys. You know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, see ya!